The Dwarf 2 is a digital smart telescope with dual cameras. The cameras have a Sony IMX415 sensor and use AI image processing software. Designed by Dwarf Labs, who are an innovative company that aims to make astronomy accessible and enjoyable for everyone. The Dwarf 2 is very compact and light, weighing in only 1.2 kilograms. It comes with a tripod, battery pack and a carry case. You can easily take it anywhere you want to, to explore the night sky or observe nature during the day. Hi, it's Gerald from Optic Central with you again. Today I'm going to show you the Dwarf 2. It's a smart telescope that claims to make astrophotography easy and fun. It's achieved high acclaim in the astrophotography world, so let's see if it lives up to its hype. Now let's explore the two distinct editions. The Dwarf 2 telescope comes in classic and deluxe. The classic edition features the Dwarf 2 telescope itself with a telephoto and wide field lens and it comes with a generous um, micro SD 64 gigabyte card, a mini tripod and a carry bag. Upgrade to the deluxe edition and you'll revel in all that classic offers along with an extra battery, two solar filters, a UHC filter and a filter holder. So let's see what we get first in the box. Right, so we've got the, we're here at the unboxing. So we've got the, got a nice case here. Um, let's open it up and have a look. So, well, we've got a, we've got a tripod. We've got the actual dwarf itself. Now in the deluxe one, we get a filter holder. Um, so the filter holder, basically what that does, it goes on to you line up, so wide angle, wide angle here, it actually magnetizes on there. So that fits on there. You do get um, a UHC filter as well. UHC filter will screw onto, onto here. sits nicely on there. Um, you also get, I'll just take this off, you get two solar filters because when you point at the sun, both of the lenses are going to be pointing at the sun, so it's wise to have them both covered up. So they're the two um, you get. Um, you also get a spare battery. Um, it's always good to have a spare battery. Um, you do get a carrying strap, so you can carry this along with you as well. Um, pretty good quality strap. The ST card is in the telescope, I've already put that in. So that actually lives um, just there. Um, you may find that, you may find taking it out might be a bit of a problem, but a pair of tweezers there to pull that out is, is pretty good. You also get for your SD card just a um, little adapter for it as well 
to use because it's a micro SD card. Um, and the case is pretty good. It's actually got all these different compartments in there as well. So you can put the dwarf in there, the, the, um, the tripod, the filters can sit on here and anything else. It's got a little zip compartment up there as well. But yeah, there you go. To use the Dwarf 2, you will need to download the Dwarf Lab app onto your smartphone or tablet. The app connects to the telescope via Wi-Fi and allows you to control the telescope wirelessly. The Dwarf 2 has two cameras, a wide angle camera and a telephoto camera as well. The wide angle camera lets you take regular pictures with a wide field of view, or you can use it to just preview your field of view. The telephoto on the other hand, um, the telephoto camera lets you zoom in on, on your target objects such as a star, galaxy, or even a bird. The telephoto image is always at a fixed place near the center of the wide angle image so you can easily find your target. One of the coolest features of the Dwarf 2 is the automatic star tracking and stacking. This means that the telescope tracks the star's movement across the night sky and will take multiple exposures of deep sky objects. Then it uses a field rotation correction algorithm to avoid field rotation. And it combines it all to produce a single sharp image output. You don't need to do any manual calibration. Everything is done automatically by AI. With the Dwarf 2, there is a multitude of options at your fingertips. But our prime focus today is with astrophotography. And this is foremost the reason why people around the world have chosen this telescope. So with the stage set, join me as we take the Dwarf 2 into my backyard for a demonstration. Fingers crossed for clear skies. Here we are in my backyard with the Dwarf 2. Let's open the Dwarf 2 app and connect to the telescope. The app calls it a camera, by the way. It will now search for the device. Make sure you click join when you are prompted. Firstly, let's adjust the telescope so it is pointing upwards. Let's focus on the stars, so use the autofocus. So if you find it difficult to work for you, try manually focusing by tapping on the plus or minus buttons until the stars become focused. In the astro mode, click go to, hit the calibration button and tap the red button. The telescope will slew and analyze the night sky and plate solve and then calibrate. Nice one, the calibration is successful. Tonight's target is M8, the Lagoon Nebula. The telescope once more plate solves and centers your target. On the left of the window, you'll see this icon that looks like three sliders. Click this to access the camera settings. Time, gain and the IR pass settings are what I recommend you adjust. In the case of capturing nebulas, go for the longer setting. With a Dwarf 2, that is 15 seconds. In the More tab, this will reveal the format you would like to choose. Fit files are a standard format used by astrophotographers. With the count button, you are able to select the amount of photographs the Dwarf 2 will be taking. The bidding will be set automatically to 2x2 and the display settings to be stacked. Now sit back and watch the Lagoon Nebula take form as more pictures stream in. You will notice more detail continuously being added.
Here is the final image I got from the Lagoon Nebula. I was able to capture the Trifford Nebula too. Now that we have done Nebula, let's do some planetary imaging. The Moon is a good target to capture. Once again, let's select it from the menu and because it was calibrated earlier, the telescope will slew automatically to the target. The moon is a bright target, so it is important to reduce the amount of light getting into the sensor. In this case, I'm selecting 1 5,000th of a second. And once again, I will be selecting the FITS file format and like Nebula Acquisition, I will be stacking the images. The output file is going to reveal very good detail. So what do I think of the Dwarf 2? Well, I have to say that I'm impressed by its performance and its features. It's very easy to set up and use, and it delivers amazing images of both celestial and terrestrial objects. It is definitely a great gadget for beginners and hobbyists who want to enjoy astrophotography without spending too much time or money on complicated equipment. Well, that's it for today's video. We have the Dwarf 2 on display. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more product reviews like this one. Also, let us know in the comments what you think of the Dwarf 2, or if you have any questions about it. So thanks for watching, and remember to look up and enjoy the wonders of the universe.